are here at Nyangpala and specifically we are at the Nyangpala Health Centre where we are going to talk to one of the health workers who is educating the pregnant women about heavy metal poisoning in their unborn children. Also about the effect that heavy metal in the things that they use affect they themselves as pregnant women. Come and let's go. How are you all doing? In the end, I'm a stramo. My mom is wife. I'm a new mom. Falun Kasa, Chile, Ailo. It contains heavy metal, one of which is lead. And if you are a pregnant woman and you consume the Falun Kasa, it can cause anemia for you, the mother. And this can affect you, the mother to give birth prematurely. This lead can cause brain impairment for the fetus. Also, it can cause growth retardation for the baby too. Yeni mumu binswa kasa, se frying kasa no, mugu su dia na na se se mwe jai, na mwe jai no fasoven na mwe hum. One of our success story is a woman who came with an HB of 7.0. With the education given, she stopped taking Falankasa and the HB level was improving. So she had 14.7 grams per deciliter and she delivered successfully a healthy mother and a healthy baby. We are visiting one of the clients who has just delivered a beautiful baby girl and she's one of the clients that benefited from the health education at the health center. Let's go. The program is but I'm never me at Zerlema. Do I have the item nigger? Then you laugh at seeing as Antima, I shook them. But I saw her come to me. The bomba car at the Yelma can sang the pan to him. Oh, Cashier, you can soon catch it. Command the carpool and so we are in the command, he pump with here. And no, my can soon have him charm. So a message to all pregnant women is that we should stop taking Fallen Tassa because it contains lead which can affect our, our self plus our unborn babies. <laughs> 